シナリオ読み込み型創作ツール、ハチへようこそ。Current SCP-019JP。Item ハッシュタグ SCP-019JP。Object class。Special Containment Procedures SCP-019-JP is to be kept within a large animal containment cell at Site 8159. Hidden security cameras are to be installed in its cell, and monitored by staff at all times. Any use of reality vending abilities by SCP-019-JP must be reported immediately. SCP-019-JP is to be provided a diet suitable for apes, consisting mainly of fruits, twice daily. To reduce stress for SCP-019-JP, appropriate recreational items and plants may be placed in its cell. Routine cleaning and maintenance is to be performed once every three days. SCP-JP is a typical, corrupted reality vendor. Although it calls itself a savior, evidence shows SCP-JP has committed numerous crimes, including larceny, violence, murder, rape, and data expunged by using its reality vending ability. SCP-JP reacts angrily to any mention of this fact. SCP-JP claims it has an IQ of 300. However, behavioral assessments suggest its intelligence to be below average. Furthermore, its mental activity is quite destitute because of its social nature. SCP-JP was captured following an incident which took place during a wedding ceremony, which was attended by individuals including foundation personnel at church. A summary of damages includes. Killing 18 people, including one newborn infant and two Foundation personnel, raping four females between the ages of 7 to 32, killing police officers who were dispatched to the scene. When the Foundation's anti-reality vendor task force arrived on scene, SCP-JP attempted to conceal all evidence by using its anomalous abilities. According to its claims, SCP-JP committed one similar crimes before this incident. SCP-JP states that it remains in custody voluntarily. It has expressed a desire to help the Foundation achieve its goals, even claiming that it has assisted in breach response and recontainment of other SCP objects in the past. Future cooperation or assistance has been offered by SCP-JP in exchange for freedom to use its power. It reacts aggressively toward personnel when these offers are denied. Interview ESCP-JP. Interviewer Doctor. SCP-JP, why are you guys keeping me in these conditions? After I've kindly allowed you to capture me of my own will. Hey doc, you know, you should add me onto your foundation task force. Doctor, hello, SCP-JP. The answer to your request is no. Please remember what you've done in the past. SCP-JP had. I've never broken a law in my life. How can my actions be illegal? Hmm. Can you prove that I killed someone with supernatural power? Huh? He'll tell you. When I used my power, all those people said, "Please kill me," and "Please give it to me." SCP-JP uses a high-pitched voice, possibly mimicking a female and stuff. Ah ha ha! These things were done by Kun consent. Ah ha! All of these. Doctor, I see. Tell me then, how did you gain your ability? SCP-JP M. Who cares? One day, I woke up and suddenly got this power, like some hero in a comic book. Surely it must be a gift from God, who says just fucking take it and do anything as you will. Like in light novels and comics, the good guys are always going bonkers, and they are always excused in the end, no matter how violently they acted. See, so I must be excused as well. Such great power deserves special treatment. So, please. Put me in that task force. Now, Doctor, I see. I've noted your request. We will take it into consideration. Closing statement: SCP-JP is a typical megalomaniac, and his nature is extremely dangerous. Even considering his primitive intellect, I maintain SCP-JP is not suitable for further testing and research. I request authorization to terminate SCP-JP. Dr. Doctor. Given the minimal value of SCP-JP as a Foundation asset in any capacity, termination has been approved and will be carried out as soon as possible. The preceding document contains the file for SCP-JP, a reality vendor who was subsequently redesignated SCP-019-JP. SCP-019-JP is an instance of a bonobo pan paniscus. 
As the termination process was being carried out, SCP-JP used its abilities in an escape attempt. While partially decapitated, SCP-JP swapped its own head with that of a bonobo, being kept in an adjacent wing for research purposes. This action caused the death of SCP-JP and the birth of SCP-019-JP, a reality-bending entity that consisted of a bonobo's head and SCP-JP's body. After the displacement, SCP-019-JP immediately transformed its human body into that of a bonobo. No further manifestations of anomalous ability have been noted since this incident. It is theorized that the source of SCP-JP's abilities existed somewhere in the body below the neck, and may have been lost during SCP-019-JP's initial transformation.